Hey guys, Revit MVP Guy here, and in this video we're going to show you how to create this masking tag, or pipe tag. So let's say an isometric and you have it on this um, medium detail level where your pipe is one line. Revit actually will not break these pipes. So to show you, I'm just going to remove that little tag I created. It looks like this. And that's really not what we're looking for when we do isometrics. The solution would just to be make it fine and that way you can at least see which one is in front. But let's say you do want to just do a single line pipe. Rather it's not breaking this pipe. So what I've done is I've created this little pipe tag to help break this pipe. Now this is a graphics issue that Revit will probably fix in the future. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete this little tag. As you can see, it's just a masking region with a line in the center, and that line represents the pipe. And it's a pipe tag, so that way if we do move this pipe, the tag will move along with it. And that's the nice part about using a pipe tag for this application, is our tag will always move with our pipe. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this tag I already created. I'm going to create a new tag, a new pipe tag. We'll just remove that leader and we're just going to put the tag right here. Now we're going to use this as um, a base for creating a new. So I'm just going to go to edit family. And we're just going to use this existing pipe tag as our starting point. I'm going to delete the label and I'm going to go to view visibility graphics, and we're going to make sure we can see our reference planes. Okay, so now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a masking region. Now I'm actually not going to create the masking region in this pipe tag family. I'm going to create it in a generic annotation family and insert that generic annotation into this family. And I'm going to show you why in a little bit. So I'm just going to go to File, New, Family. I'm going to click on English Imperial, Annotations. We're just going to use a generic annotation for this. To delete this text right here, zoom in. And we're just going to make a masking region. Go to Create, Masking Region. And you can do this any size you want. I'm just gonna maybe make it, I don't know, an eighth of an inch. So I'm just gonna click right there. And now we can edit the distance we want. So that's gonna be one eighth of an inch. And then this one we will make a little smaller. Make this one sixteenth. I'm going to select this, move it, I'm going to move it again, and now we have our masking region perfectly centered in our generic annotation family. Now the next thing we're going to do is make sure that these lines are actually invisible. So if we go up to subcategory, hit this drop down and make these lines invisible lines, and you have to make sure they're all selected. So now I can just hit the checkbox, and as you can see, it created this masking region. We can't see it because it's a masking region, but if we hover over, it will highlight, and it's there. So now I'm just going to load this masking region into my other family by going to Load into Project. And I'm going to load it into Pipe Size Tag. And it's, it's here, you just can't see it, so I'm just going to click right in this area right here. And that's where it is. I can move it. And now I'm going to make sure that I uh, move it to the perfect center point right here where the origin is. So easiest way to do that is just to go to your line. You're going to click on this reference plane. You're going to click on the center point, which is right here. Then you're going to lock it. We're going to click on this reference plane. Click on the middle point, which is right here and we're going to lock it. Now if we hover over or select it, 
you can see it's perfectly centered and we've locked it into our origin point. The reason why I've loaded it into this project or what we like to call it nested into this family is because when you nest in a masking region it will be behind any graphics you create in this uh, pipe tag. So now we're going to create our pipe annotation line over top of this masking region and since the masking region was nested in it will not cover our line. So we're going to go to create we're just going to use a line and I'm just going to create a line from here to here to escape. Now I want this line to be a specific um, thickness and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new line style so that I have control over the thickness of this line in my project. And I'm going to show you what that means in a little bit. So I'm going to go to manage, we're going to go to object styles, and under, gen oh, under pipe tags, we're going to create a new subcategory. And we're going to call it pipe line. We'll just call it pipeline. Hit OK. And we're going to make that the same thickness of a pipe that we would have in Revit, so maybe five. And we can adjust that in the uh, overall project, but for now, let's just make it five. So this line thickness. We're going to select it and under subcategory, we're now going to use our new pipeline subcategory that we created. And as you can see, the line gets a little thicker. So now we can load this into our project, but first we want to save it. So I'm just going to go to File, Save As, Family, and we're just going to save it somewhere on our desktop. I'm going to save it Pipe Tag Mask. Three, since I've created this a couple times already, under options, we'll just make one backup and we'll just hit save. So now we've saved over our project or our pipe tag that we opened from the original project and we're going to load that one back into the main project. So I'll go load into project and we're going to select that project called masking region for isometric piping diagrams and it's a .rbt file right here. That's our main one, so we're going to click that. And nothing's happened yet, and you can see the pipe tag is actually loaded up and ready to be placed, but it's not being placed correctly on my, on my lines, which is a problem. But what I can do is if I hit escape a couple times, select this pipe tag, and we know that one is completely centered along this pipe, we can now change it and go to pipe tag mass 3. And as you can see, it just puts that tag in the exact center location where we want it. So now we've created this pipe, pipe tag masking region for use um, when we're drawing our isometrics and we're using single line piping. Now, it's not the perfect method for doing this, but it is a good workaround if you guys do want to graphically display something like this. So to place this pipe tag, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to annotate tag by category. And as you can see, if I place the pipe tag right along this pipe, it's not going to place it right in the center. So we have to do a little work around to get it to be placed right. So the easiest way is just to go to tag by category and go to this tags button. And we're just going to change, we're going to scroll down to pipe by hitting P. And instead of pipe tag mask 3, let's just use that out of the box pipe size tag and hit OK. And now when we go to tag it, we'll tag it along the center point right here. And then what we'd have to do is just select this tag and change it to the one we created, which was pipe tag mask 3. So that, that will ensure your tag gets snapped to the center point. Now I haven't looked into other options, but for now that's the best I could come up with. Now one thing I want to show you guys is if we highlight this, I can actually change the thickness of this line. So for instance, if my line, um, this pipe was even thinner and I wanted to make this line thinner, I can do that now because I created that new line style. So the way to change the line thickness is I go to Manage, Object Styles, and remember we created the the line under pipe tags. So if we go down to our pipe tags, go into the annotation objects, 
you can see there this, there's this pipeline that we changed to five thickness. So if I change this to let's say one, hit OK, hit apply, you'll see that actually changes the thickness of this line inside my tag. So it's really useful if for some reason we didn't want nice thick pipe like this. Um, we can have total control over this line thickness because we created this, um, this new line style under our pipe tags. So I wanted to show you guys that because it's very helpful. So I'm gonna change this back to five. Hit enter, and we're gonna hit okay. And now it's back to five. So that's how you create this masking tag um, inside of Revit.